Hey folks, uh, Ryan Davis here, Vinny Caravella by my side. Hi Ryan Davis. We are looking at EA Sports Grand Slam Tennis 2 mm. uh, for Xbox 360. I am having fun just watching the We are the already enjoying everyone's faces. tennis faces here on the main menu of Grand <laughs> yeah, Slam like, Tennis 2. They're trying to put like, some action and then just like emotional yes. discharge. Yes, uh, it's what's happening inside of <laughs> something. I don't know where ghost, exactly. Tennis ghost. Could be anywhere. Um, so they're calling this Grand Slam, Grand Slam Tennis 2, although the original Grand Slam Tennis was only a, a, a Wii game. It was a, one of their uh, Motion Plus games. Mm. Um, and it's, it seems like a lot has changed. I, honestly, I only played a little bit of that first game, so I don't remember a lot. But they have, in, in bringing this series to the uh, 360 and PS3, uh, as they've done this week, uh, they have made Virtua Tennis. Okay. Basically. All right. Like Virtua Tennis, uh, kind of like half cut with uh, how they've been doing Tiger these past few years. So uh, we're here at the main menu, and uh, play now is an option. You just go jump into singles match, and you okay. can set all your, uh, you know, all your variables here of who do I want to play as. Who like, do I want to play got, as? We've got uh, actually oh, cancels. So we've got male players. Actually, I'll, I'll just go through the, the list a little bit here. Um, so, wow. like Roger Federer, this is uh -huh. uh, Grand Slam Davis. This is my created, <laughs> my, my game face guy. Okay. Um, that's me using the uh, the creepy Ryan picture. Oh, that, that, is, uh, that is trying to model that guy on you? Uh, off of your photo? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I only use the front photo. So this has game face the way, like, uh, Tiger's yeah. had for, for a while now. A few other EA Sports properties have used that as well. But uh, uh, this is, and this is only using the one photo. They can actually do two. Like a profile, uh, like like yeah, like like head-on and profile shot. I just mm. used the one, and I, I feel like it actually came out pretty good. This is maybe uh, I, I feel like the the, <laughs> the least, beard's good, the least grotesque looking. They sure. managed to not make my neck look weird, okay. which has been the problem the with seams. Tiger uh, right. in the past. Uh, anyway, so that's my dude. We'll look at him in a little bit when we get to the uh, career stuff. But Federer is in here. Uh, uh, you know, old yeah. school Johnny Mac the is in old here. Old school, young Mac. He, uh, he also does uh, commentary on the game. Uh, um, let's see here. Doric. Okay. So here. Andy Murray's in here. Pete Sampras in here. Okay. Uh, Pat Cash, who's uh, an Australian uh, pro, he's the other commentator. Uh, that you hear from mm -hmm. um, okay. Bjorn Borg. Like, there's a pretty good Andy Roddick. So uh, you know, past and present uh, pro oh, players ladies. here. So yeah, and then on the ladies' side, we've got uh, Sharapova, uh, Lindsay Davenport, uh, Martina Navratilova, yeah. uh, the Williams sisters, uh, Sharapova. So yeah, so again, good. Uh, yeah. Generally speaking, pretty good, pretty good spread. So, uh, but I'm not gonna go into that right now because I don't really want to start that game. Uh, game modes. So career. Uh, we're gonna jump to that in a minute, and uh, you, so you can create custom tournaments uh, as you so like. They've got a ton of like game modes. Of uh, no, oh <laughs> no, that's <laughs> those, were the game, those were all the those were all the game modes. Um, but venues. So I believe they are exclusively the licensors mm. of uh, or licensees licensees of Wimbledon. Uh, but they've also got U.S. Open. Mm -hmm. uh, they've made up a couple of tournaments of their own: uh, Australian Open, French Open. Mm -hmm. uh, so so, ah, it doesn't seem like a ton. Uh, and, well, like within each of these, then there's several courts. So oh, like, Wimbledon's gotcha. like okay. three courts. Yeah, let's do the U.S. tour. So uh, now we're not going to do any of this. I just wanted okay. to show uh, options here for you know number of players. So you can make this like a really big ladder for, for bracketing if you wanted to. Uh, which is holy crap. Yeah, which is intense. I do want to quit because I don't yeah. get into that just yet. Just wanted to show that. Uh, there's also the uh, these ESPN Grand Slam classics. So these are uh, kind of like your your real life scenarios that you go and get to play through. So, Got you. Like the first one that you have access to here is the right. January 2003 Australian Open. And they kind of lay out the scenario here. So you see there's uh, a... <clears throat> There's uh, these these points that you're getting gotcha, here. Gotcha, by completing objectives. Yeah, so there's there's always like just the main objective of beat that other person. Yeah. And then they'll have bonus objectives such as... Like win the way they did. Win or... these specific ways. Yeah. And uh, so right now, I think I only have the 2000s. So there's a, a set of these that are all set in the 2000s. And uh, yeah, you can see there's a scenario that's still locked. Oh yeah, I said do it the wrong way. And then it goes back to the 90s, 80s. Uh, and then all time, and then fantasy. Ah, like what if? Yeah, exactly. What if uh, you know N Nadal and Bjorn Borg uh, played in the uh, what if the French Open? So, so this is a little like this is kind of Dragon Ball Z. 
Sh sure, to put it in Vinny terms. Yeah, <laughs> knock it down. Who, Boris Becker, that's the guy on the right? Yeah. He looks like the dude from Harry Potter. Uh, the friend, what's his name? Wesley? Uh, Ron Weasley? Yeah, Weasley. No, it's not him. You sure he doesn't play tennis? He's Pretty got a mean backhand. Uh, so I, actually, I'll, I'll show the this training off some, because I think this, this uh, is there anything else here? There's just the, you know, once you create a player, uh, which which you can use game face or you can just like make your 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 pro as you please just using sliders and stuff. Okay, yeah. So they've wow. got these, these generic yeah. presets here and then uh, all all of the the kind of the the game face stuff that Jeez, you expect. Why are these, these guys need to sleep a little more. Yeah, get everyone, off the looks, heroin. everyone looks pretty haggard. Jeez. Um, <laughs> sure, that guy on the next over is a tennis player and not just a serial killer. Uh, but you see, it's it's got that that level of depth that the the EA Sports uh, the character creation stuff has had here. <laughs> this guy's a menace. <laughs> so I could be like, wah, wah. I found these clothes. <laughs> uh, Jeez. Without saving. No, Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, and then once you create a pro. Um, you can then uh, upload it to the central server, and then you can go and download other people's. Oh pros. yes, let's see. Download Mario. <laughs> so this, here we go. Oh, Salasi, yeah, <laughs> little Rastafarian. Uh -huh. uh, he's got a weird head. There's uh, someone making. That's not a bad Augusty. Uh, let's see here. So, yeah, you think these are vetted? Steffi, Steffi Graf. Um, Have you seen like Sonic? I haven't. Well, I was looking like like launch day was the last time I checked this stuff uh -huh. out. Uh, yeah, they, they all seem reasonable. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's if it's being uh, curated at all. Um, Joker volume. Because there are a lot of them that are just kind of generic looking dudes. Yeah. Most of them just kind of look like yeah, these look like dudes. Uh, there's there's really oh, yeah, there's, that guy. there's really not that Over much. To the left, he made, there's, he made not, it. there's not that much room for uh, right going, within within the right. sliders to not get like make a blue dude. Yeah, it, this is not Saints Row the Third. Sure, like, that's, that guy up the top. Betty there. Boop. That's about yeah, as, have it up top. as weird as it'll get. Plastic freak. <laughs> He's my favorite tennis player. So you can make some yeah. bizarre looking dudes. And but, it seems like the most bizarre is just max or min max sliders. Yeah, exactly, and, exactly. Uh, so I'm gonna get into the the training here. Mm -hmm. Show you the tennis school some because this is honestly for for everything that's in this game, it, it's it's the only thing that makes this feel a little bit different from let's say Virtua Tennis. Let's all just say Virtua Tennis is the baseline by which all other uh, tennis video games are judged. Oh, that's a lot for everybody to say. Can you repeat that again? I only got the first bit. Uh, all together now. Yeah. Vir um, virtual tennis is the baseline by which all other tennis games should be judged. Yes, is that about right? that's close enough. Okay, good enough for government work. Uh, so, uh, you know, virtual tennis—it's all—it's you know—it's all button holds. So, uh, in EA Sports uh, fashion, I'll oh, play as my dude. Wait, can I jump into tennis school as well? Like, could, could two people do tennis school? Maybe, but let's not. Let's yeah, not get into I don't that. Clutter it up. You're using your dude. So. Uh, so they, they have what they call the total racket controls, and this is uh, basically like other EA sports games right. where you're using the right stick to right. pull off your moves. Gotcha. Um, and I don't like it. Oh, you don't? I've, I've played with it a bunch, and mm. then I, I, uh, I, I spent several hours playing with just the, the right stick controls, and... I like older John McEnroe. Yeah, John Mack's not bad. Um... I, I, I then switched to using just the buttons, and my performance boosted up immediately. Like I was immediately just like acing every serve and just crushing it. So uh, a little less frustrating, but maybe do you feel like you gave up some of the kind of kinetic feel of the using the so, stick? So that's the thing is like the idea behind the stick should be like like that's the whole notion of using the right stick is that it's supposed to give you a more tactile feel yeah. uh, of the sport, but. In a way, this feels a lot more mechanical, and I'll show you here just in the uh, in the serves. We'll, we'll go through this uh, this part of the training school, to part of tennis school. So this showing you the flat serve, all mm -hmm. right? And it's, it's breaking it down for you. What you do is you uh, pull down on the right stick, right? Yeah. And that will start your charging. Use it, okay. And and as you're charging, you're going to see a uh, a meter on the court that's going to have a big bell curve on it. And mm -hmm. as the longer that you hold uh, hold down on the right stick. The narrower that curve becomes. Okay. Then once you're at your I and ideal, uh, you know, width or whatever, which will be, you know, the longer you charge it for, the more powerful your shot will be. Uh, you let you let go. 
So you, you Release, return, right. return the stick back to neutral position. And then a timing line will start moving across the bell curve. And then basically, like, once it at, it's at its peak, at its apex, then you will push up in the basic direction that you want to serve the shot. Right. Okay. I think I get the trade-off here. There's a little power for uh, the precision on the thing. The long, the more powerful you want, the thinner that uh, Yeah, the, the narrower gonna it's going to be, so the, right. the, the more precise you have right. to be with that to, to take advantage okay. of that. So All right. That's, yeah, it's, it's the, that's the trade-off there. Um, and then you get kind of uh, left-right controls before you start, like aiming? You so, aim before you go? So I can do that. Uh, yeah, you can walk back. No, no, no. It's it's all in what direction I press on the up. Okay. So okay. So this they, they want just you know flat shots. Yeah. So I press straight down. There it goes. I let go. Oh, that's so I was fast. Little, I was a little late yeah. there. That, 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 so on this one I actually don't want to hold up or hold down for very long at all because I got to get it to that corner there. So right. I'm gonna tap down like that. And there you go. Right. So again I'll do it like that. Boom. That's a good effort. Uh, and this is this is kind of honestly right right here uh, is where I start having kind of problems with the uh, mm. the total control stuff. Is it, it wants you to be just a little bit right of center, mm -hmm. and I never feel like I have enough feedback to place those to, shots. To, to, to play with that sort of precision. Yeah. Um, so let's get, see if we can give this a shot. Yeah, see, I was too off to the, to the right there. Right, so it becomes more of a game of trial and error. Right, and then and kind of the problem going from from like the tennis school here and then actually applying it in the game is everything's moving so fast right. that it doesn't even really matter that much. Nice. Finally. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. Yeah, no problem. Ah. Oh, yeah, the siren's going off. Oh! I mean, uh, I mean yeah. laugh through my talking. <laughs> I'll soften this derisive comment with a giggle. Hey, there we go. Um, then once we do it from the other side, uh, I'm just, I'm not going to. Um, so you see that, like, they've got all these different lessons for, for you know, service, for ground strokes, for net play, so on and so forth. Um, actually, it's it's ground strokes, net play, and service. <laughs> and then these, uh, you know, lessons mm -hmm. end up being uh, the mini games in the career mode. Okay, so, so hit this they don't even they don't even have like as creative a set of mini games as a Virtua Tennis. Like they don't go like it's always like either hit powerful enough to knock through this white square that's on the net, or you know hit your shot into this specific spot using this specific kind of shot. Okay. So let's uh, go ahead and get into the career. Um, uh, oh, so so all that stuff I was showing you about the, the right stick uh, yeah. for for serving. Then you could also, uh, when you're actually, uh, like, a, you know, when you're not serving, when you're actually just, like, volleying or whatever, uh, you can just tap up in the direction to do a flat shot. You can tap down, you can pull down and then release to do a slice shot, or you can pull down and then push up to do a top spin shot, which is just a more powerful shot. Wow, that seems like you gotta be pretty careful in the thick of things. And then you can also use your right and left triggers. You can hold those while you're doing these movements to perform uh, like drop shots or lob shots. So okay. if you wanna, you know, bring it close to the net, or you want to knock it over your opponent's head. Well, to me, it sounds like maybe once you, you graduate to that stuff, if, you, if you're kind of... And so far, I, and again, I'm several hours into this, uh, in, into my career here. Uh, just not feeling it. I just, well, I haven't need, like, so I was kind of varying my shots up when I was playing with the, uh, the like, total c control stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can also switch to the buttons on the fly. That's the other nice thing, though, is, is that they it's, don't lock you it's out. all there all the time. So it's like, <laughs> I can use the right stick, I'm not feeling the right stick, I can go to the buttons. But my performance just boosted straight up. Um, so I'm in the middle of this tournament right now. I'm in the middle of the, the French Open. Uh, actually, mm. we're in the, the semis here, so we'll go through a couple matches to, okay. to show you a little play. Uh, so on each of these, you can always pick. What you can you choose want. like how long a game you want to get. You, you can never simulate them, unfortunately, which would be kind of nice because uh, there's a lot of tennis to be played here. Um, 
Like your your the career mode goes over ten years, and I'm still in year one here. So, jeez, uh, and like the early early part of of year one. So the idea here is that you have those secondary challenges, right? Uh, in the career mode. It, well, like like you saw in in like the fantasy, yeah. or the you know the the classics stuff there. Um, that that same stuff happens here, where it's like your primary is just beat the dude, and you'll get points for that. But if you also beat it under these certain conditions. So the idea is that if you go for a longer uh, game duration, uh, you'll, you'll have, have more opportunities mm -hmm. to hit those numbers. Mm -hmm. So it's it's the idea of you spend more time, you get more points, but I just kind of want to tear through this stuff. <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, see, there you go. Beat Michael Stitch or... Oh, don't lose. You'll get bad points for that. Or beat him with six baseline winners and two service return winners. So I think I can do that. Yep. Play match. Yes, it's get, kind of, it shows you all this stuff kind of in between. But the other thing is like uh, it's it's extremely timing based. Uh, I, I feel like the the stick controls are much more dependent on the timing than the uh, the button controls are. Or at least I, I found it harder to hit my timing uh, with the stick, which makes sense. It's sort yeah, of like you know pulling yeah. down and like throwing in a direction versus just holding a button. Because you still have that, that virtue tennis thing where, like, your character movement, like, you're kind of drawn towards where the ball is going to be. Yeah. They're not going to leave you hanging in the wind too much. No, but that that is a little bit inconsistent. Look at my guy. My guy looks awesome. Yeah, looks pretty good. The guy's got big hands. And everyone else kind of looks like zombies. <laughs> so I'm going to do this with the stick just for my first shot. This court looks a little torn up. It's clay. Some nice sounds on the uh, rackets. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's clay court, and that stuff definitely has an impact. But so far, the AI has been crazy easy. Mm. I, I've had I've had no problem. Is there a difficulty slider uh, I believe, on the career? Uh, mm, I don't know, actually. Okay. Off the top of my head, I'm not sure. Uh, so I, I don't, I don't want to talk over to these guys too much because uh, Pat Cash and, and John McEnroe actually have some, some pretty good commentary, but it loops way too mm. quickly. It's just They'll do these lengthy little kind of monologues here, and, and there's some, some good insight for sure, but uh, you end up hearing the same stuff repeated often. a lot. So I'm going to switch to button controls here. Okay. Uh, you know, I used the stick in that last round, and uh, just tell me if you can notice a difference. Well, that was a little volley was a little shorter, but yeah. Let's see if I can. You see a little bit of a slide with the clay. Yeah. But I haven't seen anyone dive for a shot the entire time I've played this. But it also seems like you are just hit it left. Guy runs left and hit it to the right. Guy runs right. Oh. Oh. He knows your tricks. Nice. So do you, do you kind of ace it when you do nail it a lot? Yeah, yeah. If and and I and I find that it's a lot easier to nail button? it with the buttons. Sure. So uh, I have gotten like a dozen aces in in the French Open alone, <laughs> playing with just the buttons. So it's in it, in a, in a weird way, it feels less mechanical. It's more responsive. Like the I really don't see the advantage of the. Uh, of using the the total controls, right? I think it's a pretty pretty good looking game. Yeah, there's something about the clay footprints that look like low res or something like that. I don't know, I don't know what it is. I am not a tenniser. Nice. That is what they're called. You lose. Ball for that one again. Uh, yeah, I, I have been waiting for... Because, you know, like, your character performance is ostensibly supposed to start pretty low and improve as you go through the career and, you know, get skill points and get new gear that has performance-enhancing qualities. But you're just not having a problem. But I have not lost a round yet, let alone a game. Yeah. 
And, uh, you know, I, I, it's taken me a little bit of time, but you'll notice every time I, uh, I hit a shot, like right next to my guy, it'll say, like, early, good, yeah, or yeah. late. Um, so timing is, is very key, but it's not clear. Like, when it says early or late, it's not clear if I'm starting too early or, like, letting go too early. Because mm. it's a lot of holds, right? It's mm -hmm. a lot of, like, all right, start charging up the shot and then let go right before it's time to execute. And it doesn't give you that stuff with the buttons? The early and the late? No, it's doing that, too. I've, okay. I've been hitting with the buttons here. And, okay. But that's, but it's, it's, yeah, basically I figured out that, uh, that it's like you have to let go with, with the button, at least you have to let go kind of like right before you're about to swing for, for ideal hmm. uh, contact. <laughs> Whiffing it. And Oh, yeah, he's getting it now. Bam. Starting to... Oh, oh whiffer! I, I overcharged it. I need to let go earlier. So if you're on your game, they just won't miss, right? They just won't, like, roll a, roll a die and just be like, well, your guy's not good enough. Oh, he's... <laughs> His guy is not good enough. Oh. Uh, so, so far, I, I just haven't been outmatched as far as the other player's abilities, because, you know... Like going from this and then like going into the classics where I'm playing as like Venus Williams or something, like the difference in speed and power is noticeable immediately. Okay. Uh, so I don't know if they're just in this early going, uh, just throwing me a bunch of weak dudes or what. Uh, but uh, I just haven't had a haven't had any problem, which you know makes it kind of boring. Hmm. Do you get points you drop in, or is you guys just I get stronger? so so far. Uh, and this may change, but uh, so far I've been unlocking gear, but mm -hmm. as these career points go up, mm -hmm. uh, and then, and that's just for the, the points that you get. And then there will be those training games I was telling you about, and that is where you actually get the points that add towards your uh, your stats. Okay. So if you aren't good at those mini games, yeah, you aren't going to get to add to your stats. That kind of is a bummer. The, the... They, like I feel like it's this real backwards thing where like they should be improving their, your stats as you're using those abilities like over the course of the tournaments and stuff rather than relegating it all to here's a mini game that if you screw it up, you don't get to try it again. It's like uh, it's like they do with a lot of their other, like the boxing and stuff, right? We have your training days, and that's where you get your points and hit the speed bag. And yeah, but that stuff, stuff. But that stuff feels at least a, a lot more connected, com comparable to like what you're actually doing in a fight. <laughs> Th this stuff is like like use like display a level of precision that the game otherwise does not require from you, uh, which you know that's it seems backwards to me. Puts, it puts too much uh, emphasis on those those mini games, which uh, calling them mini games, I think, is giving them too much damn credit. Do they call them mini games? I call them training something. We'll see it after I finish this match. Uh, we'll see the. Uh... Oh yeah, look at that. All right. Do you ever see the ball runners go out? Nope. No. I have not. So you, you've just kind of been bored, hit the ball left, hit the ball right? Yeah, and I'm just using the flat shot for all of these. Like it's, so it's you know, like A button for the flat shot, and then I think yeah. it's uh, X for your slice and uh, Y for your, uh, for your top spin. Mm. I have just been using flat shots here. I just, I've had adequate angle control here that I'm able to cross them up pretty quickly. I'm not even having to, you know, I'm doing this all off the baseline. I'm not even having to get up into the yeah. front court at all. Which maybe it's just they're, they're, you know, playing with a really slow progression. Maybe they want to ramp it up real, real easy. You got 10 years. Oh. He's trying to cross me up a little bit. Yeah, animation looks good. Yeah. It's a pretty fast serve. 
Thank you. Like that should have been a dive. Like I haven't <laughs> I, again. I haven't seen anyone dive. It's do, been crazy. Do people dive in real tennis a lot? Maybe maybe that's just the kind of like video game movie tennis where everybody's on the ground. Oh, smack it. Got me on that one. Can you dive? Uh, like I don't know. I don't know, I don't know that I can force a dive. Yeah. No. I like watching the guys uh, dodge out of the way in the backhand. Yep. Just cock their head to the side <laughs> just a little bit. Whoop. And you always stay on the bottom of the court. I haven't needed to move up any. Uh, they haven't been able to defend against my, my baseline at all. So, uh, yeah, if, if they were tougher, I would be moving up the court and, and uh, you know, try and take uh, advantage Well, I there. just mean uh, flip, flip sides. Oh, uh, that's an option. Uh, but by default, no, it, it, ke it always keeps, keeps you on, you on, the, the, on the bottom of the screen, which, I pr you know, that's how it should be. Play on the top screen. Yeah, it's weird. Sucks something awful. That foreshortened uh, court, it's weird. They're pretty good at tennis. These guys are just kind of bad at it. And I won the French Open. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yeah, they know it. Good job, Grand Slam Davis. Man, just took it. Yep. How did that guy even make it to the French Open? <laughs> Jeez. Always respect. Show the respect. Respect my short shorts. Hey, everybody. Thanks we're, for watching. We're wearing play. the same shirt, everyone. Yeah, that's not awkward. But I won. So in your face, other tennis guy. Uh, oh, also, there's the weird thing I, I didn't mention. We, we were going through the pros earlier. You saw that both Pat Cash and John McEnroe are playable characters. They're also the, uh, the commentators. So I, I've actually found myself in situations where I'm playing against Pat Cash and Pat Cash is also commentating on the match and not acknowledging the that weirdness he, at all. That he, there's a younger himself down there? Yeah. That, that guy reminds me of a younger me. Yeah, no, nothing. Ha <laughs> ha, Pat. Nothing doing. Uh, yep, I am the tournament winner. Yay. You tell, because it says more winner right there. Points? Career points? I get do more you, career points, yes. Do you use career points to unlock different uh, uh, tournaments? Let's what we'll those go to see your return. Um, no, that's all just kind of over over time. You see, I'm in year one, event seven. Uh, all right, so at, at each, they don't call them weeks. They don't even like give you a, a like a calendar or anything like that. It's just sort of like you'll do something, and then something else will come along. And uh, and each of these at each of these turns, you have a choice of like you know what yeah. do you want to do. So pre-tournament, this is basically going through a six-round mini tournament. Uh, and like it says there, it'll uh, improve your overall ranking, increase your uh, total number of career points. Training, and this is the, the Johnny Mac stuff. Where this is where you actually get points to put into your speed and power and net play. That's right. I'll, I'll even, we won't necessarily go into this, but you'll see I have these options of I can do accuracy, and that'll give me you know accuracy and speed bonuses. I'll get you know power and speed from this. Uh, and and so these will, these will all go directly into my stats, and I believe I believe this is the only way that you can hmm. directly get these points. Like a little net play. Um, let's see here. I can also go to the tennis store. Oh, and this is where you spend career points. Is that what you said? Yeah. So if I had any, wait for it to load up here. <clears throat> there we are. Uh, as you see, I have zero uh, attribute points available right now, but I, these are the, the things that I could... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you should spend your attribute points here. Uh, but I don't have any of those. Okay. Uh, but I can also get accessories. So does that mean you don't... I'm a little confused. You don't dump or attribute points the things you got from training? Yeah, attribute points would be the things you get from training. But it'll all, training will give you attribute points and also increase your power and speed and stuff at the same time? I don't know. Because okay. I haven't fucking won one of those. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 
Because uh, the gear looks like it'll, right, when you buy the piece of gear, it gives you more well, So most of these don't. As you can see, oh. there's there's no stats associated with most of these. I think the only thing I have right now that, so I've got this this uh, racket, racket, and this gives me plus four in, in those three categories. Okay. But as you can see, it's not adding to like my baseline. It's just like yeah. putting it on the top. Mm -hmm. So if I take that away, I don't have that anymore. Right, it's a buff. Yeah, exactly. Wow, look at that one. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Get, hope to get that someday. Uh, yeah, I don't have any other gear. What about shades, man? No, the sh shades that are here at the start are bad. <laughs> They're real matrixy. Oh, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not gonna put those on. We're not gonna put anything on. Uh, so yeah, I, I I don't like the way that they have structured the mm. uh, kind of character progression here. Um, you can skip this event. What will be lost? Yeah, you kind of don't ever want to do that. Yeah, that seems like, why are you playing then? Uh, so, so you can do uh, the training stuff, the little pre-tournament thing, uh, or you can do these exhibition matches. This has actually been my first rivalry match. I should probably mm. do this. Mm. So this will be on grass. We'll do this. What the hell? And, and you can pick one? Yeah, we can pick from all of these, and this one happens to be a rivalry match. Because oh. I just beat this dude in the French Open. Gotcha. We'll stick with these short sets because that's how I want to do. Oh, and now it doesn't let any other players go in. They're all grayed out. Or is it just because this controller's off? I'm going to turn it back on because I'm kind of curious. Like, you could, like, I could literally play one of these guys. Is that what would happen? Can you? What would Can I just you move hit? your stick over? I, mean, I don't know if I'm like logged in or something. No, it looks, like, it looks like this one you cannot. That's goofy. That's, that's weird that they'd show it then. Um, well, I'm going to do this and then I'm yeah. going to play around against you. Uh, NHL scores. That's kooky. That's a, they've had that for a while, right? Huh? Oh, the ticker, yeah. 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 Uh, is there any uh, sure. EA music match? Uh, all, no, all, all music provided by uh, Paul Van Dyke. Okay. The entire soundtrack is all Paul Van Dyke. So if you like early 2000s rave music, <laughs> you'll love. You'll love Grand Slam Tennis 2 from EA Sports. It's in the damn game. That's good. I sound just like him, right? Yeah. All right, get grass here. I'll be curious to see what this, uh, oh, this so feels like here. Yeah, it <laughs> You're Australian. Oh, uh, because this, this is like the seventh time we've had to do this today. So here we are again. Let's make it sound real. Oh, geez. Starting to bring a little more heat. He's mad. Well, it is a rivalry match, yeah. so I can see him... Wanting to bring a little more fire. ESPN doing this one. Yeah, they've got the... Well, for the stuff that doesn't have its own brand, branding, they use the ESPN package. Because this is, you know, the EA Sports Brighton uh, yeah. court, which I don't think exists. Oh, man, hit that guy. I'm bummed that you were able to hit that guy in the back. You just want them to always be able to move out of the way? Well, I don't even think he reacted when you nailed him. Oh, jeez. Oh, He's got you on the ropes. You got nothing. He screwed up. Oh, that's how he moved. He should have reset. What he was doing hanging out at the edge like that. Yeah, I heard this one already, and just in the amount of the quick look we've done. Yeah. That's, that's how bad it is. Yeah, that's... The, the, the problem is, like, the, the it seems like the way that they structure it is that they they try and have them comment based on your style of play. Mm -hmm. So that it's, it's at least somewhat contextual, if not specific to what you're doing right at that moment. Which I think is a good idea. The problem is that since I kind of always <laughs> play and dominate in the same fashion, yeah, they're I, saying just, the same thing. I just end up hearing the same thing all the time. Oh, yeah. Like the rare occasion that I do mix it up somehow, you know, finish, you know, in the front court or whatever. Uh, they will say something different, but it's just rare that I hear that. He can. say the grass really feels that much different. Uh -huh. 
Take it. Doink. Here we are. Stereo coffin. And I win. Woo! This guy should not be playing tennis. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah. I want a rival match. So there you go. Since I, you know, 450 for beating that guy. Advance. You're number 35. No. You're rank 67, your rating is 35? Yeah, I don't know what those numbers are. Okay. See if the... Okay. Great. And hit help. Advance. Advance. Thank you for the help Just push there. A. Did mm, I get something mm, in the tennis mm, store? Mm, 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 Did I unlock some new stuff? Mm. Was I not paying attention there? <laughs> Can you wear no shirt? No. You always have to have a shirt. I always gotta have a shirt. It's a gentleman's game, really. This is what I started off with, because it's extra classy. Nice. Yeah. yeah that's not bad. Good color scheme, all right. Yeah. Short shorts. And yes, I do like the short shorts. Uh, and it just kind of keeps on like that. It seems like the only options are pre-tournament exhibition training or like the actual event. Mm. It's kind of it's. Can I see your season growth? I want to see how. What that that's gonna come tell you. It's been zero. <laughs> because I haven't been able to <laughs> earn any goddamn points in the goddamn mini games because I'm not good enough at so those. You're, you're, so, uh, you're so I am the best at tennis. I am destroying right? everyone in the game yeah. with the basic, uh, like all around. Because when you first create your character, you can choose like your your basic loadout of Are yeah. you an all round guy? Are you a you know net Power player? Power bed, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. And I went with all round, and with that baseline and you know a racket that gives me plus four in a couple of categories. I am destroying everyone. So far. Yet I am not, well, I've, I've won the three of the four major fucking tournaments. In Everybody this. wins the three tournaments in their first year. Uh, it's all about that year seven play. So. Ask Johnny Mac, he knows. So I feel like there's a real a real bad disconnect there. Like that's, that's really, that's poor. Can you do the, uh, can you hit the squares and stuff with the buttons or you have to use that? Uh, fun stuff. Uh, I could use the buttons. Yeah. Well, you know what? Actually, I haven't. Let's let's go ahead and. Yeah, I kind of want to see if uh, where the rubber meets the road here with that stick, if the accuracy and stuff gets better. Yeah. See if because it has made a difference in my regular game. Maybe it'll it'll make enough of a difference that the truck stick the, that uh, that I'll want to do it for the training stuff too. All right. All right. Yeah, see, yeah, that's what I want to do, like that. Hit the four targets. Let's see what you can do. It. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. You do not seem to be having a problem. Yeah, so far, this is going a lot better. That's the one. Ah! John just turns on you immediately. Yeah. You're amazing. You're a fucking asshole. <laughs> what is wrong with you, you piece of shit? So there you go. <laughs> Everything is better with the buttons. Forget the stick controls. They make you worse at the ah, game. for you. Maybe, I don't know, maybe other nope. people really. <laughs> nope. You just blanket statement? Blanket goddamn statements <laughs> is not as good. So, so there's this, a, I'm sure there's a finesse to this the, thing. There's got to be something. Maybe I'm missing something. There's got to be some other way that I can add skill points. It seems like I'm... I'm Hey, either that. either this game is is poorly constructed or I am just completely missing something here, but 
The Islanders beat Winnipeg. I don't understand, like, the the points being available, like, when it says attribute points available. Yeah, zero. But but all of them through those mini games are being applied automatically based on what mini game I'm, I'm choosing. So I was thinking, like, maybe is there some way to buy them? Is there... How about the help? No, but help is just telling you what those buttons do. Oh. It's not really... It's actually not helpful. Oh. Surprisingly. Uh. What what is the uh, what was the graph thing doing that? There we go to Wimbledon next. Which what now? No, nah, there was like a little graph next to the racket when the, in the shop there. I didn't know if you hit left trigger, it said it would push it over to the graph. I don't know what that did. Oh well, I've already got that equipped. Uh, all right, we're not going to go to Wimbledon. We're gonna we're gonna jump out of here and then the you and tennis I, store. You and I are going to have a little exhibition match. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. Now that now that I've taught you how to play tennis okay. like a pro. Yes. Thanks, Johnny Mac. Grab your uh, controller here. Got and we'll it. Do some, uh, some. Oh, the singles. controller. Ah, tennis face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We can't do doubles. Huh? There's an exhibition. We could do doubles. You don't want to do doubles. Well, maybe we'll try. We'll see how this goes. Okay. Can I be? I can be you as well. I guess so. That's just weird. Where's Ron? Who? Uh, Ron Weasley. <laughs> can't you can't use a casual nickname for <laughs> there your is. imagined? All right, so let's see here. We'll do sets. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. three. Yeah. Take it down to the basic. Uh, sure. So maybe take it up. So oh, so what? so rookie, oh, rookie is, rookie. is the lowest. Oh, I've been wow. playing on amateur, okay. and then there's pro and superstar. Okay. So, so ostensibly amateur, amateur yeah. is normal. Is normal. So maybe I maybe that's my bad. Maybe I should be playing at pro. But uh, I never make such assumptions. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see here. Venue. Where do you want to play? You want to play at Wimbledon? Center, what? center court at Wimbledon? Wow. Well, number one court? Number, number three, three court? court. Arthur play Ash. at the U.S. Open for Arthur Ashe. Or there's the Lee Armstrong. Huh. Court nine. Brand. They've got these. their fake courts in Dubai and Shanghai Shanghai and Geneva. Oh, or to play wow. for the okay. Australian Open. That's hard court. Yeah. Uh, court or you do at the... Uh, huh. French Open. That's all clay. Uh, let's go to Shanghai, man. Shanghai. Huh? That place looks cool. Yeah, look at that. Looks like a giant ping pong table. That's racist. What? That's what it looks like. You bring what you want to that. Just comment. because Asians love ping pong. Who doesn't love ping pong? Table tennis? I love it. I don't. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. They don't care for it? Yeah. Oh, I love it. It's a lot of fun playing some table tennis as a kid. All right, so I'm on the top. Yep. All right, I'm psyched. I am pumped up for tennis. All right, let's go for it. Bring it. That doesn't count. Perfect. <laughs> That's just stupid. I was 115 mile an hour. <laughs> All right. That's really not going to work out for you, but... I know where you're going with this. <laughs> I appreciate so you gotta, your moxie. Yeah. You got to hold it down and then release it? Yeah, you're oh, not going to okay. be able to do it from way up there like that. You're also not going to yeah. be able to do it on these serves, because I am yeah, kind of crushing it. it here. Jesus. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm winning. Uh, how fast right, was that? Yeah. that? That was... No, give me a brush shot. Don't take, don't take it easy on me. Oh, Is that 190 miles an hour? All right, I don't think I have the timing quite down. Yeah, yet. you got to go earlier than that. And there's a little, like, vibration to kind of give you a sense of, like, okay, I'm, I'm peaking here. <laughs> that is for sure. Bad tactics. Oh, jeez. It's fast, man. You're pretty good at tennis. I see why those guys are having a problem. <laughs> Oh. oh, he got me that time. Yeah. Now you're playing against the big boys. Jesus! <laughs> well, you got to, like, re reset yourself after shots like that. Oh. The depth on that yeah, backcourt, that's tough. That's tough. That's... Tough. that's and that's always tough. Oh! It's tough. This Italian is not. Tennis is hard. <laughs> <laughs> it 
<laughs> it, it has a very uh, like, I that's feel the thing, like an old man. It, it has a kind of a very specific rhythm and feel to it. That's even when you're using the the buttons. Oh, you faulted. Yeah, I did. It's my fault. Even when you're using the buttons, uh, it does it does kind of have a distinct feel from uh, Virtua Tennis. Oh. Yeah, that's a volley. Damn. Whew. Look at that. Oh, it's, yeah. see it all for the first time. You've got, uh... Oh! He's crushing on me there. <sighs> all right, Ron. Right, I'm going to serve from the top court. This I'm not super thrilled about. <laughs> but it worked so out. Can you charge it for as long as you want? Kind I don't of, know. I'm going to just start charging now. Oh, oh. yeah, Jesus. <laughs> that meter is hard to fucking deal <laughs> with. up there. Like that. Yeah. Oh. oh, there's your dive. Okay. Did you figure out what it is? Some Maybe. triggers. <laughs> yep. Tennis. Anyone? Oh, come on. Got like a hole in my racket. Can you use the other buttons on the serve? Yeah, and those will be different types of serves. Okay. Really kept his opponent guessing. It's all about winning games and sets, and then a match in tennis. So even though the player was down in this game, he was able to turn around. Nice. You got me. But you're doing it right. You, you, you're, you're you're putting pressure on me there. You're mo moving up in the court. That's the that's the right move to make. But man, you just have such an advantage being on the on the, Seems the like near it. court. Seems like it. Shit. Yeah, this is it's uh, tough back there. This is tough. It's not. It's tough and it's not fun. I'm having a good time, but. Yeah, I feel like I'm learning. Jeez. But you feel like you're just at such a distinct disadvantage. <clears throat> that was fun. When you get a volley going, it's a lot of fun. Um, I but, but I ultimately really don't feel like this... This does not improve on the tennis products that are already out there. I, I don't think the stick controls are... I don't think they succeed in doing what they're supposed to, which is to give you a more naturalistic feel to the mm. to the action. I, I again, I'll reiterate. I think it feels way more mechanical. I, I tried. I just went right to the buttons because it was so fast. Yeah, it was. Just, I couldn't. Didn't want to have to think about the stick. Uh, uh, yeah, it's it's easier to get the ball to do what you want it to do with the buttons. I feel. Um, ah, uh, cool. Well, so that's that's Grand Slam Tennis Two. Uh, uh, you know, this just reminds got, me it's that it's got uh, Xbox Live. And you can do. There's, I'm sure there's online tournaments and. What's my tennis online? Oh, look at all this news and facts. View my. Uh... I have no mail. <laughs> What's up here, dude? Uh, so that's so that's my my EA Sports .com 2D <laughs> avatar, okay. I guess. <laughs> Uh, so I actually used the uh, the web-based tool to to do the game face on that character. So okay. You can do it all in the game, yeah. but you can also if you you can upload images thing. and you can map, map stuff on. There's a like a, a little browser plugin that that you can install to do the game face stuff straight through your browser. Um, and and you know that that arguably might give you a little more control. You can use you know uh, I think the Xbox Live Vision camera. I don't know if you can use Connect. To take your picture. That would be weird if you couldn't. That'd um, be kind of poor. Oh, that guy knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> what? 
That's your online settings. Ah. And uh, online pass in effect. So if you want to play online, buy it new. And that is pretty much all I have to say about Grand Slam Tennis 2. That was a, I feel like that was a thorough look. Uh, available now for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Uh, Vinny Caravella, thanks for being my tennis buddy. Oh, you got it. I'll be your double any day, Ryan.